Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the Rivington community in DeBerry, Florida. There are three new home builders putting up homes in Rivington and we're going to take a look at each of the builders and find out what they have to offer. So stay tuned. I'm regularly meeting with the builders who are building in and around this area and if you would like to enlist my help and expertise in finding a new home please feel free to reach out to me I do have my cell phone number in the description below but also a link to my calendar so if you'd like to set up a zoom call with me that is a great way for us to get started and to get to know each other so please feel free to do that set up a Zoom call with me and we'll just spend a little bit of time talking about what it is that you're looking for. And just a few more words about Rivington before we jump into looking at each of the builders. Rivington has a CDD, which is somewhat unusual in this northern part of Orlando. And um, the CDD is gonna be $2,500 uh, per year until the builder has been paid back for their development costs, however many years that's going to be. Uh, but the community HOA fee is rather low at $13.67 per month and comes with a community pool, clubhouse, um, parks, and lots and lots of nature trails for walking. But without further ado, let's uh, jump in and take a look. We're going to start off with Kay Hovnanian Homes, our first builder in Rivington. So here we're going to take a look at the location of Rivington if your starting point is outer space. And I want to show you exactly how far away this is from the SunRail because it is very, very close by, uh, which is great if you want to, say, um, commute to work and you don't want to drive, uh, or if you want to go out somewhere in a downtown. So the SunRail will take you straight to downtown Sanford or down to Winter Park or down to Orlando. So here we are at the Cahovnanian community in Rivington, and this is the outside of the model home. There you can see their flags flying uh, and some of the properties that have been built so far nearby. And I, rather than walk you through the inside of this model home, I'm going to talk to you rather about Cahovnanian and what's going on and what they have available right now. So Cahovnanian in Central Florida is in Winter Garden, St. Cloud, Apopka, and Kissimmee, although some of these communities are sold out or just about to be. In Rivington, they have both townhomes and single family homes for sale, and this is one of their newer communities. There are no townhomes currently available, and the starting price for a townhome is $250,000. Now, what we're looking at right now is uh, the way this house is laid out, the garage is behind, and it's generally detached, although not always, sometimes it's just sem semi-detached. But one interesting thing you can do is uh, you can add an apartment above that garage. So if you need that sort of a living situation, then this is gonna be your builder. And that's another look at the garage uh, in that shot right there. So uh, as I was saying, there are no townhomes available. The starting price for a townhome is $250,000. Right now they do have one single family home for sale. I'm sure by the time you see this video, it probably will be gone, but it's a four bedroom home of 2,800 square feet and it's called their Tessa model. And the price is 448,000. And some of these homes come with balconies off the bedroom. So now we're gonna take a look at MI Homes and see what they're doing in Rivington. So there are about 700 houses that are gonna be built in Rivington altogether. And MI, of course, is one of the builders. They do not have lots available at all right now. What they're doing is they're working through a list of buyers who are already interested in purchasing a home, an MI home, and they anticipate that they will be through their waiting list in late July and that they will have new lots available starting from August. There are four phases. I think we're still in phase one right now. Uh, and some websites actually say that there are five phases, so four or five phases, depending on who you speak to. Um, the lots for MI homes are ranging between $18,000 and $30,000 and you can get a three to five bedroom home. The largest is gonna be about 3,800 square feet. Here I'm showing you a pool um, on the model. You can finance a pool in with it, but it will be a lot less expensive if you build it after the fact yourself, but you won't have the benefit of being able to finance it in with your mortgage. Uh, MI Homes is currently um, in DeBerry, Sanford, Winter Garden, and Oviedo, although some of these communities are definitely on the way of being closed out. So this is gonna be one of the newer communities. 
and their build out time is about eight or nine months. So once you are able to get a lot starting in August, you're looking at an eight or nine month wait after that. Now we're going to check out our third and final builder, which is Dream Finders. And Dream Finders, like the rest, does not have lots available right now. They do also predict that they will have some, again, available in August. And the price of their lots, at least in the first release, was $10,000 to $20,000. Um, most of them were in the $10,000 range, but they're not sure what the next release will be costing. A lot of them are on conservation and most will not have homes behind them. Uh, and cul-de-sac homes will of course be the most expensive lots. And they also said it is about accurate. If you're looking on the website at the price of homes to add about 10% um, onto the purchase price uh, in upgrades that you may want. The next release um, will have an escalation clause in it and what that means is um, because building material prices are going up, the builder has the right to raise the price of the home and buyers will have a week to decide if they want to continue or not and if they do not wish to continue within that week, they will get their full deposit back. Build time for Dream Finders is running about six months so if you are able to go under contract on a lot in August, they are projecting a February move-in time. Now I did want to say that K Hovnani and Homes has 376 out of these 700 or so lots, so they do have, uh, that is the, going to be the most prevalent builder, and the reason is because the, not, the lots are narrower, most of them, so that's why they did that garage in the back. Uh, and the remaining lots are divided basically equally between MI and Dreamfinders, so there you have the information on these three builders.